Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, I don't even know where this video is going to go, but I kind of just wanted to sit down and talk with you all, um, show you some things that I have been doing possibly, and just kind of catch up, because I, I don't know, I have a lot to say. Um, there's just been like so much going on, and I feel like I haven't been the YouTuber that I really wanted to be when I first started my channel. Um, I've been very, very inconsistent, and that's definitely not fair to the people who have subscribed to me and stood by my side and always leave me nice comments or messages. I truly appreciate you. So, I don't know. I just, I've had a lot of life changes, um, and every time I try and get back into YouTube, I just feel like I'm like not 100% happy or comfortable with myself, and so I just, I feel like I don't want to do YouTube, it just, I don't know, it wasn't bringing me as much joy as I had originally thought that it would. Now, although I love YouTube, um, there was just a time in my life, like, a while back when I had started really uploading videos, started getting a good response, I got some good, um, content up for you guys, and I don't know, it just, I wasn't, like I said... 100% happy with myself and so I mean I don't want to get into detail but like I don't know I just wasn't happy and so I felt like I didn't want to continue YouTube so I would stop then I would come back and be like where have I been I'm gonna start posting videos then I would stop and I would come back I'm back again like I don't know it's just I have been very inconsistent and like I said that's definitely not fair to you guys um so I wanted to come on here and just talk with you and tell you that I am here and I really want to start getting back into the swing of things. I started a new YouTube channel, like a personal one. I'm going to keep like teaching and personal separate because I don't know, I feel like most of the people on here want to see just teaching stuff or at least that's what I have seen by the things that I have posted. So that's kind of where we're at. In my videos, I was like, not getting ready. I wasn't putting makeup on. I wasn't making myself look presentable and I just like wasn't in a good place. And so that just kind of affected my channel, I guess you could say. The growth stopped. Like I wasn't getting subscribers. I wasn't getting comments and that just, I just kind of plateaued, which is fine. But I think that it was like things going on in my life that was kind of making me not want to do YouTube. So now that I am in a better place and um, with myself and with my teaching career and just everything in general, I really want to get back on here and really start making content for you guys because YouTube is definitely something that you can be creative with and I feel like I can just really share things that I have learned, um, share things that I am doing. Because I will say something that I've been pretty bummed about with this YouTube channel is this year teaching. It has been the year that I have been most proud of myself with. Um, I have really branched out and I've tried new things and I've done classroom transformations and I've um, done, I do like a STEM activity every other week. I just really gotten out of my comfort, comfort zone with teaching and have tried so many new things and it just has helped me as a teacher in so many ways and I see a much bigger difference with my students as well. So that is something that I just have been really proud of myself for but it upsets me a little bit because I haven't shared any of it with you guys. So that also sucks. <laughs> oh. I think I've made a video on, so for those of you who don't know, I'm in my fourth year teaching. I am a fourth grade teacher. My first year I taught kindergarten. So um, my first year I was in kindergarten. I switched schools my second year and I have stayed at that school for three years in fourth grade. And so um, I know, I think I made a video on it kind of when I first came to this school that I was... Um, I was kind of regretting my decision of coming to this school. Um, I got a lot of negative comments on that, like saying your students may see this, like that's not okay to do, and I totally understood it. I was like, oh my gosh, you're, you're right, like I don't want my students to see that, because it's not my students' fault on why I regret the decision. Um, 
I just had some issues with, I don't know, I'm not going to get too much into detail with it, but I just had some issues at this school, and so um, I have been looking for a possible change for next school year. I did just get an interview, and I have an interview on Monday that I'm really excited about, and I want to do a video on how to prepare for an interview for you guys, so that'll be coming soon as well. But um, I've just had, like I said, some things going on at this school that just haven't been great and it's kind of just put me in a rut and stuff like that but this year I chose to really just like blossom as a teacher and not care what others think because that's kind of what you have to do to be honest so I don't know I don't want to go like I said too much into detail because it's just a lot and I don't want to share too much of that with you because I don't know I don't know but anyways, with that being said, um, I did apply to a few places and I did get an interview. So it's actually at the township that I was at when I taught in kindergarten. I really, that would be my dream to go back to that township. I loved it. I don't, I don't know. I just loved it. But something that is definitely hard for me is I do love my students and I love the students I get to work with in the district I'm, in the district I'm in now. It is definitely a lower income district. Um, over 80% is on free and reduced lunch, so I just feel like it really, I've always, I don't know, I feel like I'm making a way bigger difference in those kiddos' lives than I would in like a higher clientele um, district, if that makes sense, but I don't know, I've been on both sides, because in kindergarten I was at a very higher like clientele district, and now I'm not, so I've seen both, and I genuinely enjoy both. So I don't really have a preference, but it's just going to be hard for me in that aspect if I do leave my school because, I don't know, I just have gained so many relationships with my students and um, I just love them and I don't, it's just hard to really think about like never getting to see them again. I mean, to be completely honest. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I feel like I've been rambling a lot, but I did want to get a video posted for you and just let you know that I am here. I'm making a goal for myself to really get this channel, or not get this channel, but make this channel how I wanted it to be in the first place. And I really want to get back to what I envisioned this channel to be. And I felt like I just got so far off of that that I just want to make it better. So. Um, I want to use my creative outlet and just really share, like share things that are actually going to help people as teachers or people that want to be teachers or people that are thinking about like just, I just want to help. So I want to use the experiences that I have um, experienced and share it with you guys and I feel like, like I said, I just got into a place where I wasn't doing that and I didn't feel like doing it and I I mean I looked at some of my older videos and I'm like I cannot believe I posted this looking this way like I just I didn't want to do my makeup I didn't want to do my hair I didn't want to do anything which is fine I mean it's realistic but I was going to school like that too and I just wasn't in a good mindset or place so now I am and I'm excited to get back on track I wanted to share a few things with you before I get off of here, but tomorrow I'm going to do a little like um, quarantined day in the life of a teacher because we are doing e-learning, which is just like virtual learning. I don't know if that's what everybody calls it. My state calls it e-learning, but um, so I'm doing that. I want to do an interview video for you guys because like I said, I have an interview coming up. I need to get that really ready because... I don't know, I'm not the best interviewer in my opinion. <laughs> I just get so nervous. And it is going to be on a Zoom call. So it'll be like more of like a FaceTime rather than having to go in, which I think will kind of calm my nerves a little bit. So I do like that aspect of it, but we'll see. Um, I did post on this channel and I just said, hi y'all, I'm going to be filming a question and answer video this week for you all. Please leave your questions on this post so I can answer them all. Hope you are staying safe and healthy. And I only got one question, so I figured I would just answer that in this. Um, 
Jasmine Jackson, thank you for your question. She said, what are you doing now that schools are closed and what changes are you making next year to your classroom? So, um, what am I doing now? I am staying home, staying safe and healthy. I, um, we have e-learning, so we just have to get on Google Classroom and post assignments on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays for my students. So I've been working from nine to one because my office hours are from nine to one and I have to answer within like five to 10 minutes to any parent questions that they may have um, or student questions. So I've been working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, and Friday. I have been filming for my personal channel. Um, so I've been doing that. I just started that channel, but I already have like seven videos up. So I'm like knocking them out, but, um, and then what? So really I've just been working. I did a Zoom today with my students. It was so fun and so cute. They were literally adorable. Let me show you. So here's like a little picture of us. You can't really see it that well, but so cute. They're adorable. And I actually played um, a gym kit with them. So if you're not familiar with gym kit, it's G-I-M-K-I-T. It's Similar to Kahoot, but like 10 times more engaging and 10 times more fun in my opinion. And you can play it from your cell phone. So I, we did that when we were on Zoom and they really enjoyed that because I'm sure that they missed playing those kinds of technology games. So that was super fun. I did that today. I think I'm gonna try and do it twice a week um, just to get to interact with them and talk with them because who knows what's gonna happen. But if I don't get to see this class again, I will freak out because this is my favorite class of all Time. I've only been teaching for four years, but this has seriously been the best class, the best, just the best class I've ever had. So, I mean, my kindergarten class is pretty good too, but talking about fourth grade, this has been the best, best, best class ever. So, um, I don't know, it's just a lot to kind of think about and stuff like that. So, hopefully that answers your question a little bit. And then she said, what changes are you making next year to your classroom? So, I think I did a room tour. I believe I did at least. I think I did. I don't know. I don't think I have like a recent room tour, but changes for my classroom. So I don't know what the plan is for next year. Um, my principal did, he knows that I've kind of had some issues with some coworkers, like I've said. And so he um, did send me a message and said, I have something big planned for you for next school year. I just don't want to tell you yet because I don't want it's not like set in stone so I was like okay well like what is it like I've been antsy to find out what it is he hasn't told me yet so I'm assuming that means if I stay at the school I won't stay in fourth grade I don't really know yet but I love fourth grade so it'll definitely be a bummer for me I love three four five six like the upper grade levels it's definitely where my heart is I've taught kindergarten so I know for sure but um so as far as like making changes to my classroom, I definitely, if you've seen my classroom tour, I feel like I'm all over the place. Um, you know that my classroom is full of tons of color. Like it is so busy. I just have like rainbow colors and just color, 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 color. It's like you walk in and it's like, holy smokes, this is a colorful room. And so I kind of want my room to be a little bit more calming, like a more calming situation for my students. So I was thinking of going for like more earthy tones. I really want to do like black, whites, grays, and maybe like a pop of olive green. So I'm like more of like a farmhouse theme, I guess. I don't know. I was thinking about doing that for whatever classroom I have or whatever school I'm at. I just want it to be a little bit more calming because it's kind of busy right now, to be honest. And I do flexible seating right now. So I have a couch in there and I, I'm pretty sure I did a classroom tour. I will link it below if I did. I just feel like I did for some reason. But yeah, so changes as far as that is just like decorating wise, I definitely wanna do more of a calming scene. And then really just kind of continuously finding engaging activities for my students so that they are getting the best learning experience that they can get. So those are the changes that I will be making. So thank you for your question, Jasmine. I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, that's the only question I got. If I get any more, because I did post that this morning, but if I get any more, I will just um, answer them like in other vlogs or something like that because I do plan to vlog. But anyways, with that being said, I think I'm done here. <laughs> I've been on here for 17 minutes. This vlog was, not vlog, this like video is kind of all over the place, so I do apologize, but I just wanted to get something out there and kind of just, I guess, explain my thoughts and feelings and let you kind of know 
why things have been how they have been and I know I didn't go like into great detail but I think you kind of get the gist of just things weren't great and so I couldn't make YouTube great if I wasn't great so now I feel great and I want to definitely get content up for you guys and just help you guys out and thank you for the ones that have stuck with me I want to do a giveaway fairly soon um I don't really know when but I want to do a giveaway soon just for to thank you guys for sticking with me and not like leaving and unsubscribing and stuff like that so I appreciate it I also wanted to tell you the interview that I got was for a sixth grade science position so we will see how that goes but I think that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it be looking out for my day in the life and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so so much for watching bye